hi guys how are you uh welcome to my youtube channel again so i'm doing a season video because um well first of all i have a lot to say i think but it's not gonna be a long video maybe a five ten minutes video it ended up being an 18 minutes video because um like i wanted to talk about consistency because i'm not the queen of consistency but i'm not the queen of inconsistency and i think it bothered me so much like since the beginning of the year because i used to do so much creative project and have always something to do beside my work like beside my full-time job and since the beginning of the year because like I said, like if you know, if you watch my videos, if you listen to my podcast, you'll see that I'm about to be 30 next year and I'm born in January. So in January, everything for me is just like, you know, like it's the beginning of the year, new age, everything like is everything. And I was thinking about like what will be my priorities and what will be the things that I'm going to let go. And uh, my priorities was literally like, working for god so at church like my priority is doing what i'm supposed to do and not arguing about it and try to improve everything that i'm doing and uh, everything for god like i'm doing what i'm supposed to do for god not because i have won something in return but literally because i have to do it and i enjoy doing it and it's my field and i like it now the second thing was to take care of myself, like my mental health and everything. And I think I failed myself for the two past months because like I did not really took care of myself for the two past months. And that's why I didn't really like um, post on YouTube and stuff like that. Now, I, did, I, I didn't hurt myself mentally, but I was focusing on my full-time job. I, a lot have happened and I'm gonna share it maybe in like like I said in my podcast next month or the month after right now I don't feel comfortable talking about it but a lot have changed in a good in a good side and it was so much change the change was so quick and so intense for me that I couldn't do anything else but focusing on my full-time job so I could be good and I think right now I'm still learning and I'm still like uh I'm still doing what I'm doing and I'm still learning and I'm still improving in my role but it is very new and very good and it's like you need to shut down all the voices in your hair and everything anyways um but yeah consistency so i want i really wanted to post youtube videos yeah and I, so I said to myself okay i'm not gonna do the one a so week type of video because it's not happening um but i can do twice a twice a month right uh i want to do a youtube um a podcast because i like to talk and i like to share but i don't usually i don't really usually want to look good and be on camera you know sometimes you just want to wake up and you didn't even brush your teeth but you feel like you want to record or you have to record and you just record you don't need to do your makeup or it's weird like you don't need to look a certain way you know i can have my hair like that and just record a uh, podcast episode so i was like okay let's just post twice a week as well like one week for a vlog one week for a podcast episode and like every week i have to post something which i just realized right now which is actually posting something every week anyways so i was consistent to the point that i got this huge thing going on at work and i was like yeah i can't because from four days a week working for four days a week i started working five days a week and at the same time i'm trying to like get out of financial um debt and stuff like that because of covid and my stupidness and my early 20s so i'm also doing some agency job you know like so i'm focusing on like working and building my finance like rebuilding my finances and having my finances right so at, like we say in french at quel moment at quel moment 
like at what point i would be able to film at what point i would be able to vlog my life was not that interesting like i was literally going to work coming to the house going to work going to going to work that 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 was it and i was like, okay i wanted to like vlog and vlog and vlog but i was like okay if my my life right now is a bit intense with work and stuff like that don't get me wrong i like my job it's a bit really really a lot of pressure but it, i like my job which is so weird to say because i used to not like my job <laughs> so i was like okay so i might just do vlogs once once a month and then have a sit down video because i can sit down and do a video let's try to do that but a decision that i made and i don't know if i'm gonna follow it or not because i'm a really i really i'm really someone that is seasoned like i'm working in season so i'm creating in season it's not like i started with beauty it was my season to learn how to do makeup and to show and to help other people to do um some makeup and share what i like i still love makeup i still do makeup i love it um and this stopped and then i was doing my hair as well and then i was showing how i was doing my hair for a couple of videos and i loved it and i think this there are the videos that was doing the most views um but that that is it like i'm good i'm still doing my hair by myself but do i have the time to sit down and do my hair and film it not really do i have time to actually edit this kind of videos not really um then i started my journey into business and i was like okay let's create a business let's be serious about business and let's learn about business and like i mean i start learning about business a bit more because i graduate in international business management anyway so it's something that i know something that i studied but i was more like in the practical side of it like the technical theoretic, theoretical part of it i know but the practical side of it and i really wanted to share that with you guys but i was not on youtube that much because i felt like youtube was done so i was on instagram for the covid period where i started my fashion business with my sister and i started this like journey to destroy fear and it was great because now i don't care about things about business like i i will create another business i'm not scared like i was scared to speak again um publicly i was scared to do videos again i was scared to do so many things once again there we go uh, i was scared to do so many things and the fear was so strong that i decided and i prayed about it and i decided to fight it with actions prayer and actions because that was it like i know and i knew that i was supposed to do things but if i was scared it would never happen right so i did this for the whole um for the whole pandemic like covid like for the whole things that we were staying in the house i was doing this and then at some point like life started again and i had to look for a job because i've been very and stuff like that and it was hard because for a year a couple of months i was literally having my schedule doing my things like a, an entrepreneur like a self-employed person and i loved it i loved it so much but the reality is the reality was that i was not making money and of course we have the furlough and stuff like that but when the furlough stopped and i was made redundant that was time for me to go back to the work field and i was so filled with like i want to be uh, i'm an entrepreneur i don't need i don't need that i don't need a job i don't need that, that, that. that it was hard for me to accept again that i had to go back to work for people super hard super super hard um but by god's grace because it's the one that literally makes you understand stuff is the one that change you the holy spirit is the 
is the one is the one that makes you change so because i needed money to pay my bills and stuff like that i really wanted to go to work for people like work work but it was so hard i was literally crying when i was applying for jobs and i had some some amazing people around me giving me the advice that you have to work like you can't just stay like that and so i start praying about it to ask god uh, to ask jesus like please if you want me to go to work if you want me to work for people it was very good to work for myself and stuff like that i didn't make any money but i i learned so much like if you want me to work for go back to the work field please change my mindset change my mindset about work change my mindset about going to work for people please and it happens and i start working with people so during this period of time youtube was not the one and i realized that um my journey to uh doing business consultations where it was the end of it it was good it was great i met amazing people i created accountability groups and stuff like that i helped many women and stuff like that and it was great because i play a part in their life which is great but when is the end is the end right so it was the end so many noise because of the washing machine give me one second <laughs> oh, oh, come back uh so it was the end and it was hard to accept but i was praying to accept it and i accepted it right and then i got 29 and i was like okay i enjoyed doing so i did like a, a whole thing about my life when we say in french bilan and i was like okay what am i doing you know like okay i like youtube i know i like creating stuff i like creating stuff okay uh esperance included which is my fashion brand is not going anywhere it might be silent right now but it's not going anywhere um youtube i love youtube is my first love come on when i came in this country london united kingdom it was the first thing creative that i was doing uh publicly publicly like really public um and i love it uh, i love watching vlogs i love watching videos like it's something is literally people love netflix i love watching youtube videos um and i was like okay i want to do a podcast because i have from my business consultancy journey thinking then do it sharing business advice and having guests and stuff like that i was like you know what like i don't want this to die die i want to transfer it into a podcast i don't know if it's gonna you know i don't know if it's gonna be successful but i don't want this to die because it's part of me so consistency about youtube but i was like yeah again the schedule and I mean, right now I'm in a phase where I'm in a season where I want to share my deep thoughts about adulting and I don't know what next year is going to be, but um, I'm not consistent. Is And I know people will say to me, if I was consistent all these years, I would literally make money on YouTube. But it's so hard sometimes things happen and i can't force myself to post you know these days it has been good but i needed to focus on that i couldn't give give myself the pressure to edit videos it's too much pressure i don't deal well with stress it's not happening so when something gives me anxiety i i try to analyze what is the thing that needs to go it's going so even i haven't posted on on instagram for edges um i haven't literally is the video that i'm recording right now that i have been recording i had i have a vlog that i deleted because it was a really great vlog but i don't know if i'm gonna post it or not i, I mean i have the footage still and it was like me um literally emptying my wardrobe one piece at the time and i think i'm gonna post it i'm just gonna post it or whatever as a i don't know i don't know because i really want this to be shared as well like because i'm trying to get back to fashion like dressing myself again and i want to buy some pieces and i want to share because this is part of me again so youtube is more like my diary you're like dear diary hi this is me i'm a this is that this is that 
so if you fancy going watch my 2018 oh 2013 2013 2014 videos you will see i was 19 or 20 at the time and now i'm 29 i don't know if i changed but i think i improved and this year marks the 10th year that i am in actually in this country because i came in london when i was 19 and i accept now that i'm not consistent i'm not saying that i cannot be consistent but with youtube and stuff like that it's hard for me to just be like that it's like i don't want to be it's something free i'm doing something free i'm free to create i don't want to be tied into something that I have to post or oh, Instagram I have to post at this time at this time no it's not funny anymore it does it's not it's not funny it, I don't enjoy it anymore it's like it's not interesting anymore so I don't is listen we're all going to work we might love our job or not but sometimes we want holidays right so it's the same thing for YouTube sometimes I just need a break and unfortunately I don't tell you guys when I have a break <laughs> and I'm sorry um, so until the end of the year I'll try my best to just keep the schedule very light I'm gonna share what I want to share and if you have any requests about um, YouTube sit down videos please tell me because these videos are going to be trans. Uh, used as well in my podcast and uh, and yes yeah, so i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys for you guys that are consistent please put a thumbs up because i want to see how many people are actually consistent uh, i actually respect people that are super consistent consistently doing the things and improving because not just like doing things but it's improving at the same time uh, I, re I respect you so much but yeah I'm consistent about something for a couple of years and yeah consistency is not a myth but for certain people it's difficult it's more difficult than for others some people I see uh, I, I, follow, I follow some girls they They've been doing hair and makeup for 10 years and that's what they have been doing on youtube i'm talking about in their life i don't know but they have been doing this for years on youtube and they're still doing it and they still enjoy it i just not i'm not like that i'm just not and it's fine it's me and i believe that some of you guys that are watching this video that you are the same it's okay like you don't have to do the the, the same thing all the time but you have to be able to not just do things uh, to do different things just because you had another idea or it looks good but more like you're focusing on something but differently so yeah comment this video put a thumbs up because it helps um and yeah see you in my next video bye